Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and I got another news update for you. First out, uh, shout out to Hansasama7 for getting me up out of bed with his damn notifications. I set notifications on the Twitter, so whenever he posts something, I get the immediate notification that something's going on. Because he's a data miner for the JP side, so if you guys do not follow him and you have a Twitter account, go ahead and create one so you can follow him. It's Hansasama7. He posts up all the information about JP as soon as the data um, has been downloaded. By the way, the app does have an update. You're going to have to go and download the new update from the actual store in order for you to update the app. That being said, shout out to you, Hansasama7. Thank you for the information. Now, jumping over to the Reddit. Thank you to Colossus Z. Appreciate it. Man, this guy is so awesome. This just came out, and this guy has the translations up for us. How freaking awesome is he? How awesome can this guy be? Um, we have translations for the new hit, for the new Piccolo, because they have new Doken Awakenings now, guys. The, the the hit card, which there's only one hit, and the clone Piccolo, the one where, Bo, where Piccolo does the technique where he splits himself into three, the one from the Universe 6 arc where we're doing the Universal Tournament. So that one gets a Doken Awakening. And holy crap, like, there are adjusted link skills, which we're going to be going over in a little bit. But let's go ahead and talk about the cards. Uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to talk about the original Piccolo before he Doken Waken. Um, first one is the Piccolo. Intelligence types HP and defense plus 60%. Special beam cannon clone causes supreme damage to the enemy. Uh, peerless concentration attack plus 60% when HP is 80% or below. And his link skills are prodigies, experienced fighters, Namekians, Gaze of Respect, and Brainiacs. Max stats are HP of 8927, attack of 7115, and defense of 4929. His new Doken Awakening gives him... Leader skill of intelligence types HP and defense plus 70% up, still kind of bad. Um, passive skill is attack and defense plus 80% up when HP is 80% or below. That would be really awesome if there wasn't an HP restriction or if the HP restriction was like 30% or below or 90% or below. So I'm like, like eight attack and defense up when HP is 30% or above, I'm sorry, um, or 80, or 90% or below. I feel like they kind of shafted him with that, uh, but still he becomes a tank once you get below 80%. It's freaking awesome. A super attack, supreme damage, the enemy greatly raises attack for one turn. So he kind of has that Gotenks thing going on right there. And he has new link skills. It's Brainiacs, Prodigies, Experienced Fighters, Namekians, Gazes of Respect. And he gets the first Awakened and Shattering the Limit. Freaking phenomenal. Awesome. Um, the next one is going to be hit. The first one we're going to go over is his Undoken Form. Enemy attack minus 20%. Time skip. Supreme damage to the enemy, rare chance to stun the enemy, critical hit, high chance of stunning the attacked enemy, and his link skills are Supreme Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, Infighter, and Warriors of Universe 6. His new Doken Awake comes to Leader Skill, Enemy Attack and Defense 30% down, Passive Skill, Attack plus 80% up, and Disable Enemies Guard, and a high chance to stun the enemy. His passive is freaking nuts guys super hyped for him he becomes such a good card now one thing i do want to say before i go on remember he is an extreme type he's not a super type he's an extreme type so he's going to be on a kid boo team if you're running a kid boo if you want the extreme unless you are lucky enough to have that lr go on outside of that he's probably going to be a buhan guy for you guys he, honestly i think that's the best way you could do it is run a double buhan team unless you have that kid boo but don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about other things right now. Super attack, supreme damage to the enemy, sometimes stuns the enemy. Link skills are supreme warrior experience, fighters, cold judgment, infighter, warriors of unit 6, shocking speed. He, well, that's just because everyone complained that he didn't have any good link skills for key. And though, and he also does have rebirth. So that's freaking awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the link skills. The new link skills are adjustments, not new, but adjusted link skills. Guys, finally, these crappy, crappy link skills that didn't do anything now do something. The only thing I'm upset about is Saiyan Warrior Race was not modified. I feel like it might have been a little bit too OP if they did that, but they didn't. So, I mean, oh well, I guess you can't win them all, right? New link skills. Let's talk about Brainiacs went from attack 300% or 300 up and defense 1,000 up to attack and defense plus 10% up. They, they took all the flat out boosts and they made them percentage amazing. Brutal beatdown attack from 500 up. Now is attack plus 10% up. All in the family was defense 2,000 up. Now it's defense 15% up. Prodigies was attack 700 up. Now it's attack 10% up. Guys, Prodigies. Prodigies, the link that that Vegeta has and the Frieza has. These link skills are so freaking awesome. I love it. Rival Duo was attack plus a thousand enemy attacked enemies defense minus a hundred. 
Now it's attack plus 10% up, attack enemy defense minus 15%. That's really going to come in handy on those Broly stages if you guys are still trying to go up against that. Next one, a little bit weird. Cold Judgment went from attack 300 up. Now it is defense 20% up. Odd change, but a defense of 20% for anyone with Cold Judgment. That's, dude, holy shoot. Like, <laughs> Defense plus 20% up on a link skill, when, especially if you're running a 120 lead, people will be tanking like crazy. Um, Infighter was enemy defense 5% down. Now it's attack plus 10%, enemies defense minus 10%. Z Fighters' is attack was attack 500 up. Now it's attack 15% up. And Warrior Gods, now I personally think that Warrior Gods got shafted, but that's only because I feel like it, because it was such a big flat boost, but I understand the reasoning behind it. They just had too many link skills. They had way too many link skills. Warrior Gods went from 1,200 up to 10% up. So, I mean, I understand why they just had way too many attack boot boost on there, on the on the actual um, cards themselves. If they got that, they'd be, be way too OP. But 10% is all right. It's cool. It's still a percentage-based boost. And Majin was attack and defense plus 1,000 up. Now it's attack and defense plus 10% up. Um, by the way, with the new link skill, shout out to Mobile Man ASC for letting us know about this. The Super Saiyan, the agility Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta now share attack plus 50% when paired together and attack plus 700 with the Saiyan Warrior Race Link. So those two are going to be hitting really freaking hard when they're paired together. Oh man, so freaking awesome. But um, you know what guys, that's it. I just want to make sure I brought all that information to you. This is so awesome. I know I just dropped a video a couple hours ago, but this is going to be another one that I'm just posting right in the middle of my night. Um, if you're in a different country across the sea, well, hey, guys, you know, good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. I hope you're as hyped as I am for this news. Uh, anyway, hit that sub button if you guys are new here. Thank you for joining me here today. Uh, if there's any more information that comes out in the next, well, I'm going to bed. I'm exhausted. But any other information that comes out by tomorrow, I'll let you guys know. Good luck, have fun, and I'll catch you guys later.